What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Last Days of Warcast. We are a Southern California-based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I'm uh, Rob. I'm Danny. I'm Beats and Beats. And I'm... Uh, my name's Jamie. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> Guys, first on the agenda, shots. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Everybody, welcome our newest member of the band, Jamie. Say hi, Jamie. <laughs> so, we're going to talk a little bit about Jamie and uh, how we got to this point. So, let's let's start with you, Jamie. And I'll give a little music background, background on yourself. Um, well, mm. I've been studying music since I was like a, a toddler. I started playing piano since I was like four. Did vocal from there too. Um, took vocal lessons all through high school and college. Um, I studied musical theater and commercial music to write um, in college, and it has led me to metal. So, <laughs> how did you find out about the last days of war? Well, see, um, this handsome gentleman right here, but he's my husband. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, we see you so often. <laughs> I mean, I was already here. It just makes sense. <laughs> Makes my life a little easier now. I don't have to deal with you always in practice. Where the hell are you? <laughs> I do you remember the War Wise episode? That is one thing I did gripe about. I never fucking see him because he's always here. But now I'm part of it. So she solved the problem today. <laughs> I'll just join the band. Can't be the job. Can't be the job. Yeah. Um, well, welcome aboard and we're excited to have you. And you know, I mean it's it's not like we're just meeting each other. You've really yes. been family to us for a long time. So it's cool to have you be part of this project. Uh, you used to help me a lot when I, when Josh and I were in our first band and vocals and yes. stuff like that. And harmonies. Writing out harmonies and, in the garage. Yeah. All three of the babies in the garage, too, yeah. running around. So uh, adding in this project makes makes me really excited for what we can start to accomplish. Yes. So that's cool. Yeah. Rob? Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I think it's, it's more of a, a bridging element in the uh, we're going to try to utilize. Mm-hmm. And just, I think with the creativity between all of us that's been flowing, just, it's it's nothing but good. All good. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, Definitely. Even Dustin's in these regards. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Dustin doesn't like doing podcasts. He feels weird. So. <laughs> We get it. It's okay. <laughs> you have to feel weird for him. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, fuck, I was going to say something, and I forgot what I was going to say. Carry on. You were going to say that uh, we're excited about our upcoming shows. Yeah. Jamie. And Jamie's going to be joining us on them. Correct. Uh, we have, what, the district on Halloween night? Tonight, because this Which episode is... drops on Halloween. Oh, yeah. So tonight at the district Come see in Redlands. Come check us out. And then Goodfellas, November 2nd. and. We're playing with some really cool bands. The uh, Halloween show, we're playing with System of Clown. Yep. Um, Deep Within. Deep Within. Yes. And then the uh, the show at Goodfellas, we're playing with Sangre and uh, the, unit. the Unit. Yeah. So, and then album coming out November 5th. That's right. So yeah. we've, been, we've been busy. Album dropping November 5th. Um, if you guys are wondering where our music is on Instagram, just so you know, it will be back as soon as the album drops. Uh, it got pulled because it's all connected to the same stuff, but it will be there November 5th. So just so y'all know, if you guys have been wondering where the hell our songs went on there, because <laughs> we were wondering ourselves. <laughs> I got a text. Where is the song? Yeah, I got a text from Rob. He's like, uh, where did the music go? <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah. As long as it wasn't similar to it. Yeah. <laughs> Other stories. Other stories. Well, I know what I wanted to say, Jamie. Did you want to talk a little bit about like your role in the band? What does that mean in the band? Okay, so moving forward, I will be doing a lot more um trying to take some of those tracks off of our backing tracks and um putting them to life with the keyboard. Nice. But for the shows coming up, I will be um doing some supporting vocals. But yeah, going forward from there, hopefully writing some more piano parts out so we can get rid of that little chord in the background <laughs> make it a little more fancy yeah, absolutely are we doing this oh <laughs> are we doing this he's like countdown to uh, so a couple weeks ago 
I put out. Well, you got to go. You got to go back before that because there was, I think, two different podcasts. <laughs> there was two. So I last year, you. one said that you would what eat, never eat a tootsie roll, and then you said you'd eat cat turds before a tootsie roll, <laughs> and then you said if people sent in tootsie rolls, you would eat them all. Yes. So. Uh, and Bra posted, "Hey, if you send these to us, Mark will eat them on the podcast." And one listener decided to send not just a little bag of Tootsie Rolls, but 700, 700 pieces. <laughs> like 700. And you got to like, share this video, Mark. So just <laughs> TikTok follower. <laughs> so he's going to be eating these all episode long. Thank you, Lexi from TikTok. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm just going to. We gonna, appreciate you. I'm going to do as many as I can without dying here because I don't want to die. So let's go. <laughs> oh, I get not even one on the dial. Get some insulin so. on the back <laughs> Yeah, there's no ingredients on this bitch. Oh, it's, like it's just sugar. sugar. It's a, just a taste. It's like sugar mixed with corn syrup. And I, I like that. I don't. I didn't know. think anybody. I didn't think anybody would uh, send them at all. I was very, very confident in the fact that nobody's going to send those these fucking things. But Alexis was so kind to send us a giant bag. Oh my gosh. 700 pieces. Um, <laughs> but thanks to Rob and, and the producer Jess over there. And a couple of little, little kiddos running around. That's about 600 right now. <laughs> they're, they're trying to help Mark with his accomplishments. Uh, dude, I'm, I'm struggling with this one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's either that or cat turds. No, no. We have, we have cat turds. We have cat turds. Okay. <laughs> you want to swap my They have cat turds. Ironically, no cats. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck. Don't worry. Yeah. 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 A little fun with this bag before we got to it. One of them's a cat turd? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they're all cat turds. <laughs> hey, I'm playing ball. I'm not stopping. Once I'm done, I'm going to the next one, guys. Just so you know. All right. Keep them coming. <laughs> That's for sure. Then when you hit the cat <laughs> turn, you can stop. <laughs> Once I hit the cat turn, I can stop. Well, only. Oh man. It's all. He made it the bottom one. <laughs> so now, let me ask call. you. This would have been a lot worse if it was what other type of candy? Well, if it was a different type of candy? Yeah. What is the worst <laughs> candy for you? Probably dots. Dots are disgusting. See, like the way that you know, the amount of shit, shit on the Tootsie Roll, you deserve every single one of these. You like Dots too? No. Oh. But you shit all over the Tootsie Roll, you deserve <laughs> every bit of its punishment. He just punches me. Okay. <laughs> so, what's the only taste? I think just the chewing of it is... From the Dots, yeah. Really I hate that. It gets stuck in your teeth. It's totally gross, yeah, because it gets stuck in your teeth. Like, if you have a feeling, good luck. Let's go round table. Worst candies. Go. Oh, candy corn. All right. I love candy corn. I hate it. You can eat all of it for me, maybe. <laughs> Josh, what you got? Anything with toffee. Anything toffee? Oh, I hate I think uh, Mike and Ike's. Oh, Mike, oh, I love Mike and Ike's, dude. Why do you like Mike and Ike? Oh, and he likes the to- hot tamale ones. Yeah. They're basically the same. They're the tropical ones that are going to work. I literally buy one like almost every day. No bad one. Mike and Ike's. What you got, Rob? What's the worst candy? Oh, uh, whatever that guy in the van gives me. The <laughs> <laughs> candy that's laced with the other shit. You know? This candy makes me black out. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to go with the balance bar. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's like one of my Okay, co- like, anything coconut or like okay, caramel hold on, hold on. What's your fa- What's your favorite? Just F- favorite, favorite candy, candy bar. Candy. Favorite candy. What's your candy favorite? or candy bar? Candy. Start there. Either or. Whatever. Start on that side. Oh, Jamie. Okay, Heath bars or uh, no. Oh my god, I hate that juice a lot. Josh. Hates one. I'm sorry. Little Twix or something. I'm gonna go Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Hmm. Uh, it's Reese's for me as well, but a close second is the Three Musketeers bar. That shit's good. Uh, for me, this is going to sound dumb. Six lids. What the fuck is that? Okay, it's like a licorice candy? No, it's a, it's like a knockoff M&M. And they, they were like little tiny balls. 
and they were like, oh, like, okay, like chocolate. But I'm getting like, them mixed up. They come in like a little package. Little yeah, and he would like. Yeah. Oh, I know which ones you're talking <laughs> about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. would what? He probably just wore one of the devil shit. Well, because like. Like for Halloween, they give you like a little tube of them, and they're like that long, so it like kind of like smarties. You okay. open up one end and just go. I've only seen them in those little packages. Yeah, no, okay, like so I never saw them. I've only seen them on Halloween when I was a kid. Yeah, <laughs> no, like okay. I've never been to like the store and been like, oh, there's those. Get some back in the day when we were little. They we would go into like Seven Eleven, and there's a tube of them. Big fat tube that like package tube, but kind of kind of like the peanuts that they serve now. It was in one of those, and it's like, oh hey, shoot it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I felt like that filled up the bag as opposed to the M and M's or like Lay's chips. Because there was less air in the bag. No, but you could see it Mm. fill up both sides. Yeah. Sorry, I started choking about this wrong. (laughs) Death by yeah, Tetsuro over here. I want to be the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he's got it wrong. Oh, man. All right, uh, let's keep this thing Halloween based, man. We want to talk about uh, our favorite iconic Halloween. Well, look, Danny, you brought up a good point. Well, so Halloween characters, right, through like the decades, like who. What are those movie icons through those decades? And if there's one today in our time now, who would it be? Don't answer the who would it be now, but let's go back to like, you know, you've got Jason Voorhees, you've got Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, Freddy Krueger, Leatherface, right? Like right, before, Carrie. right, Carrie. Before that, yeah. you had, like you have so like I feel that, that everybody's and the Mummy and Frankenstein, right? Like I always feel that everybody's either. A Jason guy or a Freddy guy? You know what I mean? Like what about movies? Jason? Yeah. Versus Freddy. I was a dope movie. I liked it. What about it a Michael a... guy? What about a Michael, Michael guy. guy? A Michael guy? Okay. I mean, Rob Zombie was a Michael guy. That is yeah. true. Okay, so out of the three, what's, what's your what's your favorite out of those three? I don't know. I was more of a pinhead guy. <gasps> That's him. Classic Rob Dance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think so. I don't know, I don't know but I like this. <laughs> hey, Rob, grab anything in this box outside the box. <laughs> Oh but Jenny, what about you for those three? Those three. Michael, Jason, Freddy, the Freddy. Freddy. Josh. I'm gonna go with Michael. Michael. Who got Jason? Jason. He's just scary looking out of the room. Yeah. Well, I think- Freddy Krueger's I like the look of like the boils on Freddy's face yeah. and shit. Like that's it. Yeah. I think I'd go Freddy as well. Freddy. But which Freddy? Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Freeman. <laughs> there you go. Slime. Oh, yeah. OG Freddy. OG Freddy. Okay. Freddy. Okay. I think no, I think the new one just kind of just got swept in. Oh, I have not even seen the new one. I've never seen the new ones either. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see them either. Is it funny? Somebody else hasn't seen something with me. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen it. <laughs> I've watched all the old ones. Yeah, me too. I've never seen them. I haven't seen them in the newer Halloween season. So, like, like, the older ones have, like, a certain campy feel to it. Don't get me wrong. I love it for what they were. Uh, but this newer one is more of a slightly, we're going to try and make it more realistic feel to. So, like, his burns don't look like. Hey, they're more like, hey, this is what he would really look like for him. Oh, so it's not like that, like, um, what do you call it, where it kind of looked like a map kind of on his face? Like, it's not no, like, it looks like, hey, next up on Dr. Phil. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay. It's not like, it's along those lines. So it's more like Deadpool-ish. Like, <laughs> yeah, like. Okay. That's a good way of explaining it. No, 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 I mean, I got it. Like, I got it. 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 I got it.
Did you like, like I'm just it's just there. It's an acquired What's taste. We we got we just <laughs> what? So <laughs> so they're growing on you is what you're saying. I don't know so much grow. <laughs> choking me. Choking me? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh my god, that was too funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's it good? Thanks, Lexi. <laughs> oh, hey, by the way, guys, Rob's in town. Hey, I'm here. Oh, hi, Rob. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot to put the kiss you did, we're wondering. You forgot to mention Rob's here. Yeah, we saw a lot of people today. We're doing an old school. So love it. Round table. Hey, Chris, you know what? Come on, we have the table back. <laughs> and why we're all on one screen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you're only listening to this and you want to see it, tune into the YouTube. Because or Spotify. It's right, or Spotify. It's also available on Spotify. Uh, well. If you are listening on Spotify, just play. Yeah. That's true. That's very true. Yeah. yeah. But you could also just look at your mm Mm-hmm. You should just listen to this while you're driving. Don't watch it while you're driving. Watch it while you're driving. Done deal. Listen to it on Spotify while you watch it on YouTube. Yes. While you're driving. Give us both views. What? While you're driving. With kids in the car. Oh, shit. With kids in the car. Double nail on that one. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Watch out for Jake and Tina. Don't get them stuck up in your wheel well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh my god. Talk about people getting fucking burned alive. So I think uh, what two thousands would be probably a uh, ghost face from the screen. Oh one. Yeah, that's somewhere in there is what jigsaw? I would say that so that era that's a good that's a good point. Ghost face, jigsaw. Twenty oh eight till twenty Cause like, hear me out. Like his Jeepers Creepers thing is yes. that like an icon though? I would say so. Mm -hmm. like, parents yeah, like Ghostface or they made three. Did they? We didn't even take. We, we, we watch all of the. It was all the stuff. It Chucky. was like a prequel. Well, Chucky's got a. We didn't even oh, yeah, throw Chucky in there. He's pretty relevant now because he's got all the TV. He's got a TV show now. Yeah. He also has a TV show now. He's also my son. There you go. No way. She said it. I'm still stuck on when you said you've been studying music since you were a toddler. That's why I didn't say since I was smaller because that was <laughs> That's why I have to say like age something related. Like Mr. Jamie. <laughs> yeah. I'll talk anyway. to you. Anyway. Oh my god, really? Yeah. I'll talk okay. You. So oh, not all in the basket, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um uh on my driver's license, it says 410, but I am oh, nine and a half. And four nine and a half, they would not let me put a half, so I went with 410. Round it up. She rounded it up. Why would I round down? I'm just doing myself a disservice. But I would have rounded down if it got me that handicap placard, huh? which She's I close. need to be 484. So. 484? <laughs> <laughs> Four eight to qualify. So you're four nine and a half. Rob, how tall are you? Six nine. Six nine. You want to say that? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that. My knee. I want to show you my knee. Comes up to it. I'm like. <laughs> Stand up real quick, Rob. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know why. It wasn't going to be in frame anymore. But I'm five ten, so to get all three of us the singers, we are a Wi Fi bar. Yes, you go. <laughs> so have full bars with all three of us. Full bars. Oh man, yeah. I just love. So we have this this chair in our rehearsal studio, and Jamie stood on it and was still not as tall as Rob. <laughs> I, and I kept looking at him. I was like. Watch, I'm not going to be as tall as you. He's like, no, you will. You will. You will. I didn't. No. I still had like three more inches to go. But. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. So, 2000s, Scream, Jeepers Creepers, uh, like you were saying, um, what's his name? Jigsaw. Jigsaw, Jigsaw yes. Uh, Pennywise. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Pennywise. So, who, who's now? I think it's that dude from Terrifier. Terrifier. Yes. It's that dude from Terrifier. Art. 
Yeah, what, if they're on the Terrifier 3, mm -hmm. hey, it's a done deal. I think he's the movie I caught, the horror movie I caught. Everybody seems to be all about them. And I've, I've seen a lot of TikToks where they're like making jewelry and like accessories of this clown from Terrifier. Have any of you seen any of the Terrifier movies? Mm -hmm. We watched both. I haven't seen any of that. I may not watch it. She's like, <laughs> okay, it's a little Trust weird me. because there's not too much on backstory. Okay, it's pretty much all just the act of. But once you start like hearing like the random like oh one sentence here tells you about him. This fucker doesn't talk. Yes, well, like he doesn't make any sound, no nothing. So there's literally half the movie of no talking, just people dying, him laughing, and then going. He just kills way. everybody. Yes, I know he killed uh, Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho was in that. Mm, a new one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the third one? I think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, but he showed himself from, like to make it like his jaw like to detach and everything like that. And pretty cool. They're pretty gory, which I, I actually like. Yeah, I gotta check them out. The problem is my wife doesn't watch that type of shit, so I gotta watch oh. it. With them. My wife That's how he and I kind of bonded. Um when we first started dating, it was like the first few songs. And then once we got married, it was like the last few ones. So mm. kind of like that was I love the Saw franchise. I love that. Okay, I I really love gore, but I love that Saw has like a really good storyline that ties into every single one because then you're like, oh wait, you should have watched number two, three, and four to be able to understand what he said in number seven. Yeah. So it's just like everything interlocks with each other, and I really like anything that has that kind of feel. So other than terrifier, modern day today thinking of like horror icons that you would think maybe down the line will become horror icons. Is there anything else out there like that? Slender Man. Slender Man, yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Slender Man. Um, I remember my son was terrified of that thing for the longest. <laughs> I was, I was terrified of Slender Man. Oh, I had really no. high hopes for long legs, but I watched it and was so oh my gosh. disappointed. I went with coworkers to go see that movie. And <laughs> we just looked at our coworker that picked it and we're like, oh, you're Again, bro. This was horrible. Like, okay. <laughs> the story was really, really, really good, but I feel like the way they hyped him up, and I was like, oh. Yeah, it, it took way too long to get to the point. The only part I liked is the ending where the homeboy does himself <laughs> on the table. Oh, I, I just spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it. Do I say homeboy? And I was like, yes. He said homeboy, it could have been a cholo. Yeah, he said no. <laughs> I just said homeboy. <laughs> oh, what? He said that fool. <laughs> that fool with the socks. <laughs> I can't open this fucking thing. Right now. <laughs> uh, the nun. The nun. Would be another modern day icon. Uh, what about the doll, Annabelle? What the, that doll that dances? Emily? No, Megan. 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 Yes. Megan. Megan. Yes. I was like, the other doll, not The other doll's back in there. I was like, the robot? Is that what it is? It's your robot? robot? Yes. So, Megan. So, it's pretty we, much small wonder. We didn't Just think like it was <laughs> that interesting at first, and then our eight year old daughter made us watch it. Megan? Yeah. Yeah. Can we watch it, please? Please, can we watch it? Can she watch begged it, us for like weeks. So your kids are into horror movies? Yeah, oh, that's yeah. my fault though. My kids like to blow shit up. So they. Oh my god! It's not scary. I kid you not. One time, Josh goes, "What are we putting on for TV tonight?" And he's talking to me. Okay. My daughter's just in the room, and she goes, "Women who kill." Gets her attention, she'll turn. What has we watched so many like stuff? Like that that's just like well, no, I, no, I get it. I, I but now because my daughter sees it and she's used to it, it's like nothing to her. But she's like, women who kill. Yeah. Oh what's a movie what's a movie with women who kill? Okay. Not even just a movie with women who kill. There is a Netflix documentary. Oh, shit. <laughs> Of a girl I went to school with in elementary. Her name is Jennifer Pan. Jennifer. She 
And the the name the the Netflix show name is what Jennifer did, and it explains how she goes on to hire people to kill her parents. Wow. And this was yes. So we went to Catholic school together. Makes sense. We went to Catholic school, and and this was the 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 girl in my classes because she was a year ahead of me. So I I had combined classes with her, like a two three class. And my mom was like, oh, she's so awesome. You should be exactly like her. Learned that well? <laughs> she was wrong about that. But, and okay, the only reason I even found out was because he randomly brought up, hey, if you were ever to go back to Canada, do you have any friends you would look up? Well, there's like maybe one or two, but there's this one that I, I remember. And like we used to do all this stuff together. We went to the new conservatory of music. That's where I learned piano as a child. Um, we went figure skating together because that was a Canadian thing we did. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, I looked her up and I found out she was serving 25 years. Holy shit. And I found a Chris Hansen like little blurb from his crime watch daily thing. And that's how I found out she was in jail. Holy and shit. then years coming forward, he's like, hey, <clears throat> there's another documentary on your friend. Hey, there's another, another documentary on your friend. That's crazy. It's always crazy when you find out shit about people that you knew when you were younger. It's just, it's just it's, like, what the fuck? I had a kid. <clears throat> I had a kid at my school that went to some kind of some thing happened at this school where they were teaching kids how to mutilate animals and shit. It's like back in the eighties. Okay. And uh, there was there was a kid in my neighborhood that went to school with with many cats and dogs and shit like that. In the neighborhood. That's. Uh, I'll, I'll give you the newspaper. <laughs> He's I'll, into the newspaper article. Yeah. I'll find it. I hate this situation. Oh, oh. oh. I'm I'm just I'm just, I'm playing the game. I, I'm putting my money where my mouth is right now. Oh. Will it help you? It's uh starting to turn the stomach. <laughs> so what are we talking about next guys? <laughs> Rob I had a little bit of something to discuss when it comes to <clears throat> your childhood heroes taking a turn. And uh, I know that you are a huge fan of The Undertaker. <laughs> and uh, since Undertaker retired, he has not shut the fuck up and he's been talking ever since. And now he's got a podcast. You just recently had a guest on, sir. Uh, Certain orange individual running for president. Um, how do you feel about this? <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, it was. I didn't listen to the episode. I, I didn't need to. I didn't really need to. It was really. Uh... But, you know, just like, come on. But I go on to social media and he's pitching an ad saying, and it's and it's him and Kane sitting with Donald Trump in the middle. Yeah, I saw that. And it's like, hey, you can either be with me and Kane and Donald Trump, or you can be with Kamala and and Batista and Walt. Like, who you can pick? It's like not the fucking moron. Like, come on. <laughs> so, and then even even Mick Foley is like, I saw him do a thing, and even he's just like, come on, dude. Like, I I was all for Trump at the beginning, but three weeks was enough. Like, come on, we're we're over this. Like, we need someone really who knows what the fuck they're doing. Even Jane Hogan's Hogan. doing. Presidential shit now. Too. Bro, did you see that video of Hogan? He had trouble ripping off, ripping his shirt, and then once he ripped it off, he started doing the Trump double jack off dance. He started doing this like in this thing. Yeah. And I was like, "What are you doing, Hogan?" Like, no, he's doing jack off dance, dude. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, fuck that guy. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. So. Um, how much time has passed? I don't even know where we're at on this thing right here. Um, 
none of us can tell. None of us. Don't worry. <laughs> about us. We're going to keep going, though. <laughs> There's no time. For Why? <laughs> 30? Okay. We're at the 30 mark. They're at the 30 minute mark. Is there anything else you guys would like to discuss before we wrap up this episode? Or unwrap this episode? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I really want this episode to end. He's going to be here for a while. He's... Oh, man. I'm sure of it. All week. You guys, tonight, Halloween night at the district in Redlands, please, if you are in town and want to go to a show, come to this one. I promise you, you won't regret it. We've been working really hard. Um, at our performance and just our general presentation on stage. It's going to be a good time. November 2nd, if you can't make it to this Halloween, you got kids, we understand. November 2nd, we will be playing Goodfellas in Rancho Cucamonga. Come on out. Check out the links in the bio. We got an album dropping November 5th. Um, it gets worse from here. That's the name of the album. By the last days of war, that's the name of our band. And, <laughs> yeah. So, This has been the last days of Warcast. We're the last days of War. Thank you so much for listening. We'll catch you on the next one. We're out.